Welcome back. And as you've seen, Plain Concepts has been hosting .NET 2018, the first time that any company in Spain has run it after Microsoft. Now, I'm with one of Plain Concepts' original team members, Pablo Deval, who is now the general manager of our UK branch. Thank you very much for joining us. No, thank you, Richard. Fantastic being here. So tell us about your your start here in playing concepts. Wow, that's so long ago, I would say. Yeah, actually, from the very beginning, actually. Uh, so you can see my gray hair in here, and it's coming from the... From you haven't this. cut it since. Yeah, it's uh, 12 years right now. Okay. So that's quite a lot. Okay. So, so how have you seen the company grow and evolved in wow. the time that you've been here? Definitely a lot, uh, much more than we were expecting, but that's exciting. So actually, seeing where we started and seeing what we were able to, to do, uh, obviously, with the help of all the sponsors, but, you know, there's a lot of driving force here from, from a lot of people in plain, in plain concepts. Uh, yeah. It's amazing to see how, how it evolved. Yeah. So you're one of the company's uh, lead data architects. You are now the general manager of the UK. Yeah. Um, you are going to be giving a talk later. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, it's going to be, uh, well, actually, I'm going to be uh, sharing the talk with uh, Rodrigo. And actually, I, I'm really looking forward to that because he's, uh, he's an outstanding speaker and an outstanding guy. And we are going to be talking about uh, deep learning, but deep learning from the point of view of a .NET developer. Per, after all, this is the .NET Indeed, uh, conference. Yeah. So that's the, that's the key thing here. No? So basically, we are going to tell people, OK, Deep learning might sound scary. Uh, it might be this kind of, uh, you have to be a PhD to, to do this kind of projects. We are going to try to avoid that uh, feelings into, into people's head and we want to just let them know, okay, you're a .NET developer, you can use these models, you can put them in production, you can really be part of this solution. You mentioned in your, well, in, in uh, the blurb of your talk about there's always been a lot of focus on Python, so obviously you're talking about .NET, et cetera. What, what are the main differences? Well, you know, uh, most of the work in this area, in this, uh, in this field, comes from uh, uh, mathematics or people in student academic uh, with a very strong academic background. And we're working from the you know, business point of view, kind of, you know, the traditional, um, you know, uh, line of business applications, etc. So the skill sets that we use and the tools that we use are really different from the academic background. They want to do something that's more focused on the, a uh, lot of libraries, a lot of uh, mathematical, uh, mathematical helpers. And we want to make sure from the other point of view, or the other side of the story, we want to make sure that the platform is scalable, that it's testable, that you have this kind of enterprise features. So the idea here is trying to make both of them converge. So right now we are at this point where we are starting to be, uh, again, part of this uh, deep learning uh, community from the .NET point of view and the, from the whole uh, Azure point of view. But there are some places where we are still not yet. One of them, and we are going to talk about that in the session, is probably a training part of the story. Training part of the models is quite limited. But from a point of view of productionization and industrialization of the models, on the other hand, we have a lot of options that are not available on Python. So really exciting times to see how both things, both worlds are converging. Uh, and that's a little bit what we are going to be talking about, Rodrigo and myself. So, yeah. This morning we saw in the keynote um, the the launch or the announcement of .NET 2.1. How, how do you feel about that? And what, what are some of the key features that have really blown you away? Well, re again, uh, really, really exciting to, to see how this is developing, for, especially for our field, for, for the deep learning and AI point of view. As you have seen in the keynote, uh, speaking about uh, bringing uh, more AI uh, uh, options uh, on the on the .NET uh, on the .NET uh, framework. So one of the one of the stories that we have here is that we ha still have a lot of uh, dependencies on the on the full .NET standard uh, framework. Now that's not a requirement anymore. Uh, or it's less and less of a requirement for some of the scenarios. In the demo we are going to be showing, we are still not yet there. Uh, we are still having to use the full framework yet, but. We see with things like uh, what they've been speaking about in the, in the keynote that uh, very quickly we are going to reach a point where we are all going to be part of the same uh, .NET, uh, uh, .NET Core family. And that's something we are really looking forward to. AI has been a, a very big focus very recently for Microsoft. How do you see that developing at this stage? Obviously, I have heard 
word that there are not enough developers and this AI is going to be the future. And so where do you see the the longer term roadmap in terms of AI with Microsoft and indeed plain concepts? Well, that's uh, again a very good question, Richard. Uh, so, you know, the thing right now is uh, that we still don't know what we require to have a proper functioning uh, AI practice team. Uh, that's not as simple as, it's, as it might sound because you need the, as we say, the PhDs, you, we need the math, the math guys, obviously we need them, but we also need the, the, the people that's able to understand the models, understand these people, and work together to put them in production. We need the infrastructure guys, we need the DevOps, the DevOps guy, actually we're going to talk a little bit about DevOps as well in our talk. So it's a lot of roles converging uh, together. Uh, if you ask me, I don't think they, they, there are some companies that right now they are trying to hire as many uh, uh, people with this strong mathematical and statistical background, bring them over to the companies. Uh, well, that might work for them. Definitely it wouldn't work for us because we need to make sure that, uh, again, what we build is you're able to put it on production. And actually, what we see in some of our customers as well is that they need our help to leverage their data science team with our data engineering team and make them work together. So again, it's going to be really uh, interesting to see how it's going to be de developing in the next couple of years. Uh, we, as many other companies, are right in this transformational period. I think we are quite, ha uh, quite lucky that we have been doing projects and putting them on production for over a year, so we have some knowledge gained. But it's still a learning road for all of us involved. Pablo Deval, thank you very much. Thank we you. look forward to seeing your talk. Thanks, thank you. Thank you.